Y2K was a computer error that threatened to create a worldwide collapse as soon as the clock struck 12 a.m. Absolute chaos would be unleashed because of an error that would occur in computers worldwide. This would cause the falling of airplanes or massive electrical blackouts around the world. But when January 1st, 2000 arrived, nothing really serious happened. Most of the problems due to the change of date were corrected quickly, and Y2K ended up going down in history as another false prediction. But the story does not end here, because according to many people, in the year 2038, something much worse will happen. Today, we're going to take a look at a new prediction that is circulating the internet. The year 2038 problem. There is currently a problem in many of our electrical devices, and that is it's impossible to change the date to the year 2039. In fact, it is very likely that your cell phone will suffer this failure. But why does this error occur? The clocks of computers and other devices are really time meters that increases every second. The operating system used by these devices has a limit on its count, an equivalent of 68 years. When the counter reaches its limit and the numeric value is exceeded, the count goes negative, causing the majority of devices to return to its beginning, the year 1901. This means that on January 19th, 2038, an error will occur to all electrical devices. There are several online videos, forum posts, and message boards that are beginning to create panic among people because in less than 24 years, a technological apocalypse will happen. Supposedly, the year 2038 problem is linked to the predictions from an alleged time traveler named John Titer. He warned us of an era in computers that would result in a dystopian future. But will there be a technological apocalypse in the year 2038? The answer is no. In fact, there is an error that affects many computer devices, but this error only exists in 32-bit devices. Currently, the vast majority of devices that go on sale use 64-bit operating systems. They do not have this failure. And by 2038, it is very unlikely that we will be using any 32-bit devices. Taking into account that the consumer electronics of today are created to last only a few years. But why is this issue emerging if there really is nothing to worry about? There are several answers to that. The first is that for Y2K, many tech companies made a lot of money fixing this error in computers. Perhaps they want to return that market using a strategy of alarmism similar to that of the infamous Y2K. Or maybe there is a deep-rooted desire in us for the world as we know it to end. And thus we tend to believe every conspiracy theory that involves the end of civilization. The year 2038 will come, but it is very unlikely that something of apocalyptic proportions will happen. Tell me what you think about this prediction. Do you believe that the world will end on the year 2038? Or will it just end up being another Y2K or 2012? Thank you all for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe. And remember, assume nothing and question everything.